this is Chris Brulon, and this is Props Comic. Uh, Eddie Murphy, that's the standard response that everybody's going to give. Eddie Murphy, George Carlin. I saw these guys doing stuff that, um, uh, how can I put it? They they just didn't give a fuck. And I thought that that was really cool. Uh, I, was, I grew up in a household where um, everything was controlled. And to see somebody on stage saying whatever the hell they wanted uh, was a dope feeling. It made me want to do it. Um, I hadn't run into anybody that made me feel like I couldn't do it until we did that show with Vladimir Camaño. And it was like every night was a different set. And he was just feeding off of the energy off the crowd and how they were turning. And he had a, like he was set for any way that they were reacting, which is really dope. Um, but yeah, he was the one comic that I saw recently. I was like, Jesus Christ. I would be scared to follow him for sure. Uh, the seven cuss words that George Carlin did, that, that smart. I mean, it was one of the smartest jokes I'd ever heard. And to this day, it's still relevant. Like, you can, uh, you can hear it and still be funny. It still works for today. So, yeah, George Carlin, seven words, seven cuss words. Uh, the final show that I would want to do before I die would be Madison Square Garden, uh, New York City. That's where I'm from. Uh, and who I would want on the lineup, uh, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. I just uh, want to do, want to say I've done New York City, uh, Madison Square Garden, or Radio City. Okay. I don't eat. I don't eat, no. Uh, maybe like three hours before a show. I have this huge fear of shitting myself on stage. Yeah, and uh, uh, which is crazy because before the show, I'll drink coffee or a Red Bull, so the chances of shitting my pants are very high. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't eat, and I usually don't eat until about an hour after the show. All right, this is going to be a deep answer. Uh, first, uh, they shouldn't be a comedian so they can stop taking all the fucking spots at LOL. That's number one. Uh, but they shouldn't be a comedian because this takes a lot out of you and it starts to affect everybody around you. So me doing comedy, I don't even do it that often like I should be, and it's still causing turmoil at home. So I have issues with my wife, my kids. Uh, all I do is talk about comedy and how I can get better. Uh, um, so it, it's very hard on an individual. Uh, I feel in my heart that I was put on this earth to do comedy. That makes sense. Uh, when I get on stage, it's a different feeling. I don't get that anywhere else. So that's why I do it. But if you want to be a comedian, you have to understand that you have to be a bit selfish. And in order to be a great comedian, you're going to have to miss the birthdays, the anniversaries, and things like that. I've actually missed my anniversary. Like, I forgot. Because I was that weekend I was going to L.A., and I was doing the Laugh Factory, so uh, I forgot my fucking wedding anniversary. It was my 12th anniversary. Uh, and she still hasn't let me forget it. It's been almost two years ago. Yeah. 